So I'd like to show a quick little demonstration on FileBot. I'm running a Linux distribution called Elementary OS, which is pretty loosely based on Ubuntu. So to start off with, if you're going to use FileBot manually like this, you want to make sure that this Plex expression is copied into FileBot as the expression you're going to use. There's others for more advanced usage of FileBot, I know that some people can use FileBot to rename TV series and move them to network locations. I haven't learned all that fancy stuff. I can just do things manually. But down here with a little paper um, icon and gear, the presets, you can edit the preset and you'll see that same expression is here. So I'm going to do FileBot two ways, to rename one show and to rename multiple shows. Now, now you got to format your acquired media a little bit. Um, so as you can see, I've got a bunch of QB shows to add to my server. I went through and, sh and corrected the names and added all the files that need to be renamed to a season one folder all manually. I have this one to do. So to start off with, I will get rid of all the extra junk and format this properly. Now a lot of people mistakenly believe there has to be a year in parentheses. Well, FileBot's going to pull from the TV database just like Plex will to pull metadata. So when you're at the TV database, the TVDB.com, if this title here does not have a parentheses with a year in it, you do not put it in either your file name or your folder name. It's not optional. If you're having trouble with a show matching, it's not because you need to put the year on it, even if the database doesn't have it. Something else is going on. So now that we formatted that, let's create the season one folder. And if there's another expression to use FileBot in the way I'm using that automatically creates the Season 1 folder, I'd love to know that by someone who might watch this video. Okay, so one of the last things I'll do is I'm going to copy a marker. Say I was adding further seasons of this later on when they, when they came out, or maybe I was doing a new TV show one episode at a time. I might want to reference to the file I originally downloaded for the, for the acquired for the next episode. So we'll go into FileBot, we'll choose Load, select Folder, and now there's a quirk with my Linux install, the dialog box pops up behind the FileBot program. I'll click just into the directory of Fierce Queens, my files load, I'll click Match, I'll choose the TV database as a top choice. You'll see that it's working. And now I have to tell it what I'm actually looking for. And if I just hover the mouse over, you'll get extra information. So I'll hover it over Fierce Queens and you'll see it's from the QB network. So I'll click that, choose select. Um, I think when this happens a second time, you can just hit skip and it came in. So the first episode is Growing Up Cheetah. And if I go back to TV Database, Growing Up Cheetah. So we've got a match. The only thing else to do is to click through to make sure that your unnamed or, or the one, the file that needs to be named properly matches up. So this is episode two, this is episode two, and so on. Just give that a quick check. And now remember, if you're ripping your own media and you ripped a DVD, you've got to check the database because that may have an aired order and a DVD order. And two or three episodes might be on a place in the first season in the DVD order. And if you're just assuming it's going to match up, it won't. So you'll actually be renaming DVD order on this side to aired order on that side. So you'll want to adjust these to start with so that these are already renamed in the aired order before you use FileBot. 
So we'll just click rename. Seven files renamed. We'll close FileBot. I'll go back to my directory and then I'll right click and I'll rename the first folder. I'm sorry, the first file. I'm going to paste back in that extra information. So if, if there happened to be a second season of this and the same group posted it, I'd have a good chance of knowing that it was a 1080p web download um, with the H.264 compression by the group called WELP. So with, with TV shows and Plex, Plex is looking for a metadata match based by the name of the show and the folder name and the season and episode information. And you see how they're separated by a space dash space automatically by file bot. Plex for the metadata ma match ignores anything after SO1, E01. Um, and the episode name is really just for your reference. You could put anything there. You don't have to have it. This could be just Fierce Queen space dash space SO1 E01 dot MKV. That's all Plex needs to know, but this is just extra information. So now it's as simple as backing up, cutting the folder, going to my other um, file window on my server and pasting it in. So that's one way to do everything manually. Another way would be to, well, let me wait until this finishes. You'll see my server starting to identify things already. Two more little episodes left. One more. I don't want to confuse FileBot when I open it next. All right, so that first one's gone. Now I'm just going to right click and choose Open in FileBot in an empty spot. FileBot should open, and it's got all these different ones loaded. There's even some um, English subtitles in here. And now I'm just going to hit match and do the TV database again and see what happens. All right, so singled out, I'm just going to hover the mouse over. It's an MTV show. It's not what I want. So that may be something to do. Oh, well, here it is probably. There's QB. So I can click on this and choose select. And this is nice one. So I can hover the mice, mouse over it. And again, it's a QB show, so I can select it. Gone with Lore or Lior. I have to look for that now. Gone Mental with Lior. Select that. Run this city. And sometimes you just want to skip something. So I'm not seeing that, so I'm going to make a mental note of run run this city so I'm just gonna hit cancel about face would probably be this one it's asking about face again because I did it. I'm going to skip it all right so let's find run this city it's good to be king would be the first episode so it may have found it it may have not but we're gonna check So I recognize that poster, season one. It's good to be king and taking out the trash. It's good to be king and taking out the trash are a match. So now I'm going to start to the top and I'm just going to make sure that 
episode one matches up with episode one and I'll skip down and just everything seems to be in order and just kind of keep looking through to see if anything's out of place And I'll just trust that these subtitles are all matched up because these are in individual directories or sub subfolders. Singled out. So notice how this show does have the year in it. So it looks like I've got a great match, so I'm going to just click rename. And now this is where FileBot is smart enough to remove characters that are invalid. Just by clicking validate, we'll remove these question marks from the file names. And now I can continue. So if I go back to my temporary folder holding all of these, I can go in and see that everything's named appropriately. I'll have to move these subs out of these subdirectories. And we'll just skip through and test or look at different ones. Looks like everything's proper. So you just learn how to use FileBot manually to rename, rename one television show, and that would have easily done multiple seasons. And you learn how to load multiple TV shows and use FileBot to manually rename all of them. And all it takes a little prepping. Change your, your TV show folder name to match what it would be at tvdatabase.com. Create your season folder, seasonal one, seasonal two, and so on, and move your files to it, and you will be all set. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps someone.